Hugging Face is a vast repository of many different models, and you can use these models as starting points to fine tune and train your own models, and then even upload them to Hugging Face if you so desire. It's a very common usage pattern. Let's look at how to do just that. We're going to further fine tune a Hugging Face natural language processing model. To do this, we are going to import the transformers and particularly the torch extensions because we're going to be using a PyTorch neural network to load the weights from Hugging Face and then actually further train it and extend it. And we'll need data sets, obviously, as well. We're going to load the data set for emotion. This is natural language processing that specifies the emotion that is associated with the text that is the input. So basic sen sentiment analysis. It loads a variety of components to this. And then we can also look at an example, the text. I'm grabbing a minute to post I feel greedy wrong, uh, which has a label of three. And we saw previously that these label numbers, they correspond to things like sadness, joy, love, anger, and fear, and surprise. So what we're going to do is load in and tokenize this data set so that we're ready to train on it. That is going to move those words into the, the index numbers for each, and not even word, for tokens, for parts of the word. That we saw previously how these words are broken up into components, almost like stemming, and then a index is assigned for each essentially stem of the word and prefixes and suffixes and other things that go with the word. So we're going to in import all of the libraries that we need from Torch. Pretty straightforward there. And we are going to take the tokenized results, shuffle them, and we're going to create the training and evaluation data sets. We create a data loader. Uh, for each of these data sets. This allows us to batch it within PyTorch. And then we're going to load the Distillabert base uncensored. We've used this model already a couple of times in the course, but this time we're going to fine tune it. And then here you can see this part is still running. This takes a, this takes a bit to completely make it through this. But this is going to then run the training. We're using weight decay. We're using a number of training capabilities, writing the results to the results folder and logs to log. And you can see here, it is training and fine tuning that model to do sentiment analysis. You can see a little bar slowly going across, across here. And as it trains further and further and further, this training loss will only go down. So this shows you how you can take a basic model, train it for something completely different, like sentiment analysis. You can really train these base models for anything that you want to put the classification or regression sort of top onto, or bottom if you prefer, because it's the last part, of the neural network on top of what was there, and then fine tune it to your particular task. That way, those lower layers in that fine-tuned or that, that existing transferred neural network, that helps generalize the, the, the data to more concrete concepts that then your subsequent layers can then classify according to the sentiment analysis. It's almost like you're using the previous neural network that you're transferring for feature uh, encoding or learning. Thank you for watching this video and give it a like if it's useful or subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with everything on this course. Thank you for watching.